All right, so that took just like a minute and uh, cleaned up everything real nice. You can see that angle is nice and crisp in the back there. And everything's looking pretty good. So now it's just going to come down to putting on that final coat. So again, I just mixed up some epoxy here. And I'm just going to brush it on. Kind of leave it pretty thick. You know, fill in the weave, smooth it out. You'll see as you go, it'll kind of get like a mirror, look real shiny, reflective. Uh, it's when it really starts to come together, so it's exciting. Now I'm just going to paint it on. I'm going to paint or use a brush. Um, I'm going to brush it up to this edge. I'm going to be careful about that. I don't want to get any epoxy on top of where we just molded because that surface is nice and flat. It fits perfectly with our fuselage, so we don't want to mess that up. So you're just going to be careful and uh, paint around or brush around that. And yeah, we're just going to do that for both pieces. So, all right, so I've already brushed that side, and we're just going to do this side. So, you just put some epoxy down. Just kind of roughly spread it out at first, being mindful of where we just molded. And then just kind of carefully go up against where we molded. And sometimes it's difficult to really sand that out nice and smooth up against where we molded. So if you lay some epoxy in there nice and thick, it uh, smooths that out real nicely. So that's a nice tip to keep in mind. And then, yeah, we're just going to go brush as evenly as we can across the, the surface here. You can do some strokes going this way and then going this way as well and then finish with uh, strokes nice and even as you can going this way. And that'll just give you a nice even coat. Uh, it'll really make everything look nice in the end. So we're going to do that for the wing and then the stabilizer, let it cure. And then we're going to flip over and do the same to the other side. Okay, so these, this side has now cured, and uh, one thing I'm going to do real quick before I flip the part over and final coat the other side is I'm just going to take some masking tape and put it around the edges. Uh, that's because you don't, want, you don't want the drips coming down and running over onto your already finished side uh, because then you're just going to have to sand that off and it's going to scratch up your part. So you could probably get away without the masking tape if you're careful, but just to be safe, I'm going to put some on and I just leave it overhanging just a little bit like that. I'm just going to go all around both of these parts. Okay, so just as before, I've already poured this stuff out. Now I'm just going to evenly coat it on. Alright, so these are coated and now we're just going to let it cure just like the other side did. All right, so now that second layer has cured, and now I'm just gonna peel off masking tape. So you can see I got the tape off the best I could, and there's still just a little bit on these edges, and that's okay because these need to be refined. There's just a little bit of thin epoxy that kind of pulled up there, so I'm just gonna take some sandpaper, work my way around both edges of these wings and just smooth them out and I'm happy with the how the final coat came out so that is why I'm now not using gloves I'm just grabbing these with my hands if you want to do it over again you give it another coat to make things smoother uh, just keep your gloves on you can sand everything smooth and then brush another coat on and you can really keep doing that until it's like mirror smooth. But once I sand this down and paint it, it's gonna look great. So I'm just going to continue with the build and sand around these edges. Okay, so these are nice and sanded, nice and smooth. Um, I cleaned the wax off of the fuselage. There's still a bit that's in the threads there, but once you put a screw in, it'll kind of squeeze out. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Now. What's next before you should paint is you should drill the holes for the wings to attach to the fuselage. 
So if you look closely on the top surface of that section that we molded, you can see little indents of where the threaded inserts, you know, they kind of just leave a little mark. So you can just go ahead and use those as a guide, just drill right through those. So those are already perfectly lined up. So that's uh, just a, that helps you out. Now for the stabilizer, you're just gonna have to mark and drill yourself. So, you know, you can come back and measure. These threads are 35 millimeters apart. So just kind of center up two holes that are 35 millimeters apart and then drill those through. So I'm just gonna be using a little hand drill like this. Uh, drill press is great. Um, but you know, if you're careful and make sure everything's perpendicular and straight up and down, um, a hand drill is going to be just fine. So these are nice and drilled, and I test fitted everything into the fuselage just to make the holes line up. Um, sometimes you might have to make a little tiny correction, but everything was perfectly lined up. And now I'm just going to countersink. So I'm going to countersink one side of these holes, and then I'm going to countersink the underside of the main wing and you can use a countersinking bit which I have right here and so this allows your screws to be nice and flush to the wing surface if you don't have a countersinking bit you can just take a drill bit that's larger than the holes this is like for example here's the screw and there's the drill bit you can kind of see they're pretty much the same size and so you know you can see the tip of this will give you that same countersunk effect. So you just have to carefully drill just a little bit and you'll get the a nice countersink uh, to each of your holes. So that's what we're gonna do next. So those countersunks came out nicely. Everything is nice and flush. The bolts are nice and smooth. And now I'm gonna go on to paint. And before I paint, I'm obviously gonna clean these up, run them under some water, dry them, make sure there's no dust on them. And so for paint, I, I'm just using spray paint right out of the can. I've painted some foils with this, I think two years ago, two, three years ago, and it's still holding up great. So, I mean, this stuff, it lasts and it's cheap. I mean, you can always just paint it again, but I've been using the same foil quite a lot for two years and there's no need to repaint it. All right, well, real quick, I just gotta point out. Uh, so this is Krylon and this is Rust-Oleum. Don't mix the two so I kind of learned the hard way I, I can't believe I forgot on this uh, project but I used the white paint here by Krylon and then I tried to put this Rust-Oleum clear coat on I uh, grabbed this can by mistake I meant to grab a Krylon clear coat because um, these two brands they don't mix so I had a, a couple problems with the the final coat of these wings I had to redo them uh, with the proper uh, with a Krylon clear coat they turned out okay but yeah don't mix the two so either go all Rust-Oleum or go all Krylon so don't don't mix these two uh, spray paint I like white I mean you can do any color you want you can get crazy you can put all sorts of stripes on there you know what thinking of that maybe I'll do some some stripes on these wings make them a little crazy and then so I'll give a couple light coats of the white and then to finish, uh, just this clear gloss. Uh, so this kind of, you know, you'll see the difference when you put this on. Um, it kind of really makes them pop. And it's just a little extra protection for scratches and whatnot. And you can also not paint if you choose not to. Um, but, you know, I like to paint, make it look nice and fresh. All right, well... Here are the wings painted and they have a nice coat to them. Um, so undersides white, undersides white as well. Uh, they turned out great. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I think we're going to do a video where we're just going to assemble the whole foil and then probably do a little riding. So now the wings are done and you just Got to put the whole foil together.